we first met Ian Hutchinson and his mate Don McKee last year. Don had helped to revive Hutch after he suffered a cardiac arrest while bike riding. Now, Hutch was dead for 18 minutes before his heart sprung back to life. Nat has been following their story. And Nat, Hutch has been busy making the most of his second chance. Yeah, he has. Hutch has just launched a website that he hopes could save thousands of lives. He's also had the chance to personally thank those who saved his. It was an emotional reunion with those who gave him the gift of life. Ian, there you go. Hey, Mark, how are you? <laughs> Ian Hutchinson and best mate Don Mackey were on their regular Tuesday morning bike ride along this very track when Hutch suffered a cardiac arrest. We found the location on the walking track of Narrabeen Lakes and the patient was lying on the ground on his back. We worked on Ian for about uh, eight minutes or so. Uh, we defibrillated him twice. He looked really sick and I really didn't think he was going to make it. The real heroes in this are the bystanders. We're not on the spot, we're you know, three, four, eight minutes away. So that early intervention of early good CPR by the public is what saves lives. We were rolling the track and he called out my name. I turned around just in time to see him obviously passed out of fainting on his bike and like careering off into the bush. Hutch's heart had stopped beating for an agonising 18 minutes before paramedics revived him. It does happen. It's quite rare. It's just great to see him look so alive and healthy. I didn't even recognise him. The fact he had a young daughter and his partner, you know, it's changed their lives. <laughs> Every year, 25,000 people die due to sudden cardiac arrest. So I've created this website called cprfriendly.org and it's, it's about helping people learn CPR in five seconds, 15 seconds, three minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour if they want to. I thought I knew CPR, but that was from 25 years ago. And when you are suddenly thrust into that responsibility, 70% uh, of people feel helpless when, when uh, something like this happens. So we're all just all about trying to get them a bit more, not certified, but just a little more friendly about the basics they need to do. Ring an ambulance, they'll tell you everything you need to do. Um, cardiac compression, 30 to two. Get a defibrillator if you can. Try and get someone else to help you. That's the training. That's it in a nutshell. Today, Hutch is determined to make the most of his second chance. We've got Hutch here, like he's he's alive and well and, and has nothing wrong with him and so you know I just wanted to make sure that they knew how grateful we were and that the work that they do is so important. And his family couldn't be prouder. <laughs> yes, I am very proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have to go to school the rest of the day now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so many Australian families can relate to that, can't you? To get more people CPR aware, Hutch is encouraging us all to hold CPR barbecues mm. where you can get friends, family or neighbours in one place to learn this life-saving skill together. We have more details on our website, sunrise.com.au.